These are size 8A rivet bands and uh, myself and other snowy owl uh, banders, uh, we, we tend to use these. We just try, I try and immobilize the owl as best as I can so I use a wrap and then I use tensors for wrapping their legs up just so that they're not um, flapping and thrashing around. Open the band and then I swing the owl around um, and then I, uh, with snowy owls they have really like really heavily feathered feet as you can tell. Above the, the foot and then below the joint. The joint is, is basically just right here. And then I swirl it around just because they, they're so feathered that it's really hard to see the banding process. Um, and then what I'll do is I grab my vice grips and I just make sure that the band closes properly. You slide the riveter in and then I just squeeze down making sure that the rivet's flush and that's it. And I take the vice grips off. So <clears throat> you can see that the rivet's flush on both flanges and then that's where it pops out. So there, there will be no way you'd have to cut this band off with, uh, with metal cutters to actually um, get it off. But so the band is the number is 1098-03523. There's a 1800 uh, call band number on there. So if anybody ever finds a dead snowy owl and it is banded, um, you'll get the location where it was banded and, and how old the bird was when it was banded and then who was the actual person that band, banded the owl. We've been banding snowy owls for, well, myself, I started in 2003 and uh, I was mentored by uh, Brent Terry and Martin Stoffel and Dan Zazalinchuk and Dr. Stuart Houston and Dr. Martin Gerard and uh, I just, I had, I grew to have a passion for owls and I wanted to do my part and obviously to have an excuse to handle these types of birds. Snowy owls are my, are my favorite and um, it's, it's probably the bird that I'm the most passionate about. The, this female probably just showed up from the Arctic within the last few days. Um, I'm going to be taking, I'll be measuring her wing, I'll be taking her weight and then I'll be measuring her tail and then I, I feed them as much food as they're willing to take and then uh, determine overall, I guess, health of the bird depending on how much it weighs and then how much fat is, is in on its chest um, and then uh, we, I just set it free.